Last week we began our second stint of stage 3 restrictions, being only able to leave the house for one of the four essential reasons. As Victorians, we've been given a second chance to try and combat COVID-19 and attempt to move from stage 3 restrictions to a more normal way of life that resembles pre-COVID. Given that we've entered our second lockdown in almost four months, it's easy to become jaded and lose faith in the possibility of returning to the norm. This idea of loss of faith is covered in this week's parasha, Parashat Matot Masay, in which two of the 12 tribes, Reuven and Gad, approach Moses and ask him if they can settle outside of the land of Canaan. There are two possible explanations for the reasons that Reuven and Gad wanted to settle outside the land of Canaan, as opposed to inside with the rest of B'nai Israel. Firstly, loss of faith. Perhaps Reuven and Gad, these two tribes, had lost faith in B'nai Israel's ability to conquer the land of Israel. Secondly, selfishness. As opposed to dwelling in the land of Israel with their fellow Jews, the tribes of Reuven and Gad wanted to dwell outside the land of Israel, where they could tend to their flock in a land that was more appropriate for feeding. Whilst there isn't a definitive answer as to why the tribes of Reuven and Gad decided to settle outside the land of Israel, we can take a really important message from this that relates to our current COVID-19 lockdown. There's no doubt that the next six weeks are going to be challenging. Isolation can be extremely testing, whether it be to do with school, work, your social life, or any other area of your life. The challenge is twofold. First and foremost, do not lose faith. Be mindful that despite the challenges that we're going through, we should remain positive and optimistic about the future. Most importantly, don't be selfish. The government has given us restrictions that must be followed. We see more cases present themselves when we fail to follow the word of our government and our health authorities. Ultimately, if we follow the advice we're given and we keep having faith, as well as being selfless, we're going to come out of this much stronger for the better. Shabbat Shalom.